it's been a while since I've updated. <laughs> They're totally visible. Uh, no, I didn't get beat. If they were visible. Yeah. I had a really good weekend this weekend. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's been a little while since I've updated. Like, a day over a month. I mean, I updated January 6th, and now it's February 7th. I'm sorry I've been neglecting YouTube. It's just, I have this thing called a life. Today I start home sick, so I have free time. But most of the time I don't. I mean, I go to school. Full, well, not really full time. I'm a part time student. But that's my night times. Daytime, work. I mean, I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, shower, head out to work, get home around 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Then, on days I have school, I leave the house, like, right away to go to school and get home around 10.30 to 11. So by then, I'm like, oh shit, I need to get to sleep. I'm waking up in six hours. Which is when this shit comes in handy because then I usually stay up because now I have energy and I'm up until 2 to 3 in the morning when I go to sleep again and then I'm up again at 5 so I don't get a lot of sleep but I'm usually doing stuff still so I guess I could make a video within those times of my insomniac hours but I don't I don't always have something to talk about. And I really wouldn't want to make a video of me just going on and on and on. But I guess that's how most of my videos are. I mean, I'm right, right? So, here's the thing. I've been doing a lot lately. And as you can tell from the marks, <laughs> I like getting marked because then it's like kinky. Well, it's not really the marks, it's the action that gets to the marks. I like being bit. Alright, I'm admitting that now. If a guy bites me, hi. Okay, yeah. <laughs> On to other things. Um, a few weeks ago, let me look up the exact date so I don't get anything wrong. On January 16th, I believe it was. Yes, January 16th. Maybe. No. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I can't decide. Yes, January... I think it was the 16th. I'm pretty sure it was the 16th. Mm -hmm. Sometime in mid-January. <laughs> I lost my virginity. Bum 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 bum. Yes, it was the 16th. It's bad I don't remember the day. And, yeah, it was good. I mean, I've been tested since then. Because, I mean, yeah, it was fun. I won't go into all the dirty details, like, where it took place, who it was with, the fact that I wasn't even in a relationship with the guy, which I'm totally against doing stuff like that. Do not follow my example. Have sex with people you're in a relationship with. And use a condom. God, I'm like a fucking spokesperson. And I don't follow any of my rules. Well, since then, I now carry condoms with me because I never know what's going to happen. 
condoms are good, condoms are your friend. And you know, it wasn't that romantic. I mean, we're watching YouTube videos in the backseat of my car. Next thing I know, we're like, doing it. Yes, that's where I lost my virginity. And you know, I didn't really feel much from it. I mean, it felt good, and I've been craving sex ever since. Sex is like an addiction. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I like crave sex. I want to be touched in that way. And so... It was a good weekend. Next weekend goes by, I see the person. We like we were seeing each other like every weekend. We weren't like boyfriends or anything, but we were seeing each other. And next weekend goes by, we didn't really do much. We just chilled out for like an hour because I was sort of sick. Next weekend goes by, which was not this one that just passed, but the weekend before that, and we totally did it again. And it was a little bit more romantic that time, but... I mean, it still wasn't that spark of... You know how they have that stereotypical idea that when you lose your virginity to someone, you're gonna be glued to them? That you're gonna, like, love them? And blah dee da dee da dee da dee da It's not necessarily true. Because what we were doing, we were fucking. That's all we were doing. We were fucking. Not making love. When you make love to someone, then you get that emotional attachment. The first time you really make love. That's when there's that connection that strong bond that's like entangled thingness yeah just having another drink ah. and you know this past weekend the one that just passed by the one that gave me these marvelous marks that I like to show off I mean let's wear a tank top <laughs> just to point out to guys that someone else has already marked me. I actually made love. Yes. I have now fucked and made love. Because those are two completely different things. And it was amazing. And we used a condom my first time actually using a condom for its proper use. I'm so proud of myself. It's here. <clears throat> yes, so... It was amazing. And yeah. It's like, now I have that emotional connection. That euphoric feeling. I mean, the first time I had sex, I had to light up a cigarette afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Second time, I felt like I needed to, but I had plans. I had to go out and do shit. Go to the gay bar. <gasps> oh, I love going to the gay bar, by the way. I'm vibrating. But it's not the person I want it to be. Okay. <laughs> Oh wow, it's already been over nine minutes. Uh. Well, yeah. So, it was amazing. I mean, to like be there, making love, kissing the person while you're doing it, and actually being in a bed, that was a nice change. <laughs> and then cuddling afterwards like laying my head on his chest listening to his heartbeat kissing him 
the other guy was fucking? We never did shit like that. We fucked and then got back in the front seat of the car and drove home. That was it. It was nothing. Saturday? It was something. Stop vibrating, you piece of shit. So, that was great. And then what's really funny is while I'm making love, the guy I was fucking called me. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah, so, I mean, I like called him back. But I'm like, I'm not alone right now. I'll talk to you later. I mean, it was after we already finished and all that. quite a bit of time afterwards. Oh, but yeah, it was nice. Sure we did in a motel room, but I mean, it's still a bed. Better than the backseat of the car, right? I mean, really. I mean, I've been a bit of a whore lately, but if things can work with me and the guy that I just made love with, then I'm alright with that. Because that won't be good. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. We're talking about seeing each other again. Maybe actually spend the night. No, we didn't spend the night. <laughs> it was the daytime. Fuck. Make love thing. God, I'm craving it again. I understand the saying, I've got an itch to scratch. One of the people I bowl with, yes, last week I was telling her about that saying, and how it's so true, because like, it feels like a little itch inside you, just wanting more. Yeah, I'm a bottom. Um... <laughs> But like, I was telling one of my boldly made people that this how that saying is so true because it like literally feels like an itch inside you just like screaming at you going like, ah, I want sex. And yeah, I fed that itch again. And I want to feed it again right now. But I can't. I have to wait. Soon though. Yes, I'm senselessly. I miss when Pepsi had this symbol. What the hell is with the ugly ass new symbols? This is Pepsi. Not some weird ass shit. This is Pepsi. Despite the fact that it's a throwback. Yeah. This is the Pepsi symbol. This is Pepsi. So all of you Pepsi company people that might watch this, you fail. I hate you all. I want my old symbol back. But throwbacks are good, because I miss original taste things also. Well, my video has been going on for like 14 or so minutes, and all I've done was talk about losing my virginity and fucking in the backseat of a car and having sex in a Motel 6. And boy, was it good. So I've had sex three times now. I'm keeping count, just because I can. I wonder what my fourth time will be. Bye.